it's me. This is going to be a more chill, casual video because I do have some bigger, more important video ideas coming this month, but there are some little updates with Shane Dawson and his quote new chapter, returning to LA, doing more conspiracy theory videos, and he even addresses the lack of hate that he's been getting recently. And I thought that this would be a, a nice smaller topic, yet an interesting one that we can just quickly chat about while we maybe make some art. And I hope you don't mind that I don't have a brand new Shane Dawson illustration ready today, like how I usually draw a new illustration on the screen while I talk about the topic, but I think that's okay because some days we don't always feel as creative as other days. Our creativity might be being taken up by other things going on in our lives, but I could have filmed myself in front of the camera like I did a couple videos ago, but I don't feel my best in that way either, so I hope you don't mind if I just show the illustration process that I did for my very first Shane Dawson caricature and also the one that I did for my most recent Shane Dawson caricature and it'll kind of show the change in style that I've gone through over the months. So if you do feel like drawing with me today, I really do want to see what you've made and you can send me your art on Instagram or Twitter at PaintingSipYT or just feel free to follow me for the usual extra social media stuff. Finally, before getting started, I would like to thank Jasmine, Maury, Fabian, Teal, and Evie for being supporters on my $5 tier on Patreon. It means so much to me and it really helps me out as a small artist. My Patreon as well as my Etsy will be linked down below as always and with that I am ready to get started if you are. Alright so my last video on Shane Dawson was about three maybe four months ago so based on that we can pretty much conclude that things have been really quiet surrounding Shane Dawson. This goes for the whole internet well I mean like my corner of the internet anyway because I can't really speak for the whole thing but on Twitter and Instagram which are you know usually the most vocal platforms I haven't seen or heard much but I think that might be changing here pretty quickly. So again, as we know, last year Shane Dawson made his comeback with a ghost hunting series and since then he hasn't posted on his main channel, but with that being said, he has been pretty active on Instagram, especially on stories, just posting like simple stuff here and there, polls, etc, stuff like that. Stuff that isn't going to cause a stir. At this point, I think it's pretty safe to say everything has kind of gone back to normal for Shane and his fans as far as we can see anyway. But yesterday, Shane posted some interesting updates to his Instagram stories regarding continuing his comeback, projects he has in mind for YouTube, and his return to LA, and addressing the, the lack of hate, of course, as I mentioned. Now, I do want to start by saying his return to LA. That's not permanent, be as far as I know, because he still owns his home in, uh, in Colorado. But over the weekend... They revisited their LA home and I don't know specifically why probably because it has to do with you know still owning their LA home and probably doing some checkups maintenance you know homeowner things but during their visit to LA Shane posted on his Instagram story that he feels really really good he feels really inspired to make some new content but he makes sure to say it's not because of being back in LA but I don't know I feel like he doesn't really fully believe himself kind of backtracks a little bit when he says that but anyway here's the clip hi okay First of all, hi. I have been in the best mood I think I've ever been in in my entire life in the last few days. I don't know what's going on. I don't think it's LA. Like, I don't think, like, LA is... <laughs> Maybe it is. I don't know. I don't think it is, though. I think it's just, like, I don't know. I just, I just feel good. So, I'm excited. I want to make some stuff. I'm going to try and just say, fuck it. Film something. Don't know what it's going to be. Um, if you have any ideas... Let me know. I'm just in the mood to get crazy. Some of the suggestions for his new content that he shows us here involves new food videos, new conspiracy theory videos, and of course, his wedding, which I'm pretty sure hasn't happened yet. But for all we know, they could have been secretly married, but that's definitely a reach. But based on his response, I feel like the wedding has probably been, like, maybe postponed. They maybe just haven't set a date yet. I don't know. But, you know, long engagements are kind of in style now. Jenna and Julian are also getting married, and I feel like for them it's going to be a really long engagement, probably years, especially because of the pandemic. But, I mean, we'll see, I guess. And now let's touch on the conspiracy theory videos suggestion that he got. And I'm not gonna lie, I love conspiracy videos, like, and I mean in general. Like, I'm not... 
She watches Ancient Aliens and follows channels like the Top Fives and all of that. But there is a genre that I like, and it's not government or political ones because at least the contemporary government and political ones because that's just too. Oh, I don't even know. But pop culture, paranormal, historical conspiracy theories. Those are the ones that I like and I enjoy them for entertainment purposes only and not to actually try to be like woke or whatever. So I think as long as Shane keeps them surface level like that, fine, I think. And it's been years since I've watched one of his old conspiracy videos, but based on what I do remember, I do think that he did that pretty well, but I think the conspiracy videos was one of the things that he was called out for. I don't remember the specifics of the call out for that though, so remind me if you know, please. But what do you think about that? The conspiracy stuff. I want to know. And moving on again to another point of interest in this Instagram story, Shane talks about and addresses the lack of hate that he has been seeing in his responses when he asked for video ideas. Here's the clip of that too. Okay, I'm writing all these down and I just want to say the lack of hate <laughs> really fucked up um, video ideas <clears throat> that I've been getting is like very shocking. I'm sure they'll come. So based on that clip, that sort of solidifies for me what I've been seeing, what, what a lot of us have been seeing, that it's pretty much over. The cancellation is over. And by that, that's not to ignore what it was about. That's not to ignore what he did, who he hurt, because those things will always be important. And people will always remember that as long as Shane Dawson is still a public figure. What I'm saying is the act of cancellation is over, meaning... People are no longer hate watching. People are no longer voicing their concerns to Shane directly. And I think people are just done, you know? The people that are still actively watching are Shane's fans, and the people interacting with Shane are his fans. And I think that this is exactly what he was waiting for for his comeback as an active creator. Like, sure, he came back with his one big series last year, but that was kind of a one off. Or. Better yet, I would like to say that was like the climax of his cancellation. The big thing that everybody was waiting for. And now that that's over, and now that people have made their posts, people have made their comments, people have made their videos, and people have said what they wanted to say, now Shane says it's his next chapter. So, And even more recently, just yesterday, Shane posted on his YouTube community tab saying, Not gonna lie, I have missed scream laughing in this kitchen. Filmed something dumb today, not sure what it's going to end up being, but it should be up in the next week. I'm excited to have fun again. Hope you guys are having a good new year. Do you think this new chapter is a healthy thing for Shane, or do you think he still needs to just leave completely? Or are you somewhere in between? So friends, remember to follow me on social media, tag me in your art, because I would love to see what you made with me today. If you made anything, I didn't, so if you didn't either, don't feel bad about it. And I hate outros, so okay, bye.